You had to have known you hit somebody or at least something, and they just kept going. A man is fighting for his life tonight after he's hit by a car and then left for dead. In fact, his family is very determined to catch the driver who never even stopped to help out. Our Dustin Grove met them at the hospital tonight, sharing the moment when their holiday planning turned to tragedy right before their eyes. The Moore family is supposed to be spending the last few days before Christmas shopping and celebrating the holiday season. Instead, they're spending them here inside Eskenazi Hospital's intensive care unit. I don't even know how to describe it. Just sitting, waiting, hoping. Praying for a miracle. We've just been told we'll be here the rest of the year. Nick, his wife, and his dad were in the car Monday night on I-65 when they thought they had a flat tire. They pulled to the side where his dad got out to take a look. Next thing we know, her and I were talking. Uh, car goes by and we felt it shake and then thud. We get out of the car and he's laying face down. A traffic camera captured the scene. When I flipped him over, he wasn't breathing, no chest movement or anything. So we struggled to drag him in front of the car. And cars just kept flying by. Medics arrived minutes later. The driver, long gone. I don't know what they were doing or the situation of it. All I know is, like I said, they, were, they knew they hit something, but they didn't bother to stop. So whether they were traveling through the state or lived nearby, I don't know how they couldn't stop. Nick says it was a black SUV with a fin over the back window, its passenger headlight now missing, and significant damage to the front end. I want to find them. At we just want them to come forward or somebody who knows something. For now, they're relying on each other and their faith in God to get them through. And they say they have reason to hope. His toes are still moving. He can move his hand, so he's not paralyzed. So can't be done with him yet. So if you saw anything or even think you may have seen something, you can call state police directly or Crime Stoppers at 262 TIPS. And you can do that anonymously. Dustin Grove, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And to see Dustin's extended interview with the family, as well as more of their message to the driver, just head over to our website at WTHR.com.